Hey guys. So after after talking to my family and having them question my existence, I realized that what I posted to my social media last night might have come off like a farewell letter or like a suicide note and it was so far from that like honestly it really wasn't anything like that I was just feeling really sad and lonely and I, I feel like this a lot you know and then like last night I was up late and I was like you know just caught up in my feelings and just letting you know thoughts overwhelm me and stuff like that and I, I got really down and in that moment all I wanted was to be in someone's arms you know, to feel that safety, to feel that security of a loving person. Um, when I said that I felt lonely, it wasn't a lonely that was defined as, you know, being unloved or unwanted because at every, at every level I feel loved and I feel wanted, but I was just, I'm just so sad. You know, like I've been dealing with you know, going back and forth in my mind with like fertility and having kids. And I truly don't believe that I can have kids. And I'm going through all of these tests and, you know, running through all of these options to see if I'm okay, to make sure I'm good. And on the one hand, I'm great. I have a grossly normal you ovary. My, sorry, my ovaries have been defined as grossly normal. My cervix is weirdly beautiful. But I do have this fibroid growing inside of my uterus. You guys know I had two pregnancies. The second one ended because the baby had, um, damn it, every time I remember this word, I forget the word. It's ugh, so damning. But in any case, anencephaly. There you go. The baby developed anencephaly, and that is a condition where the baby's skull would never fully form. So it ended in termination. And it's something that's been, like, it, it's... I've forgiven myself for a lot of things, and that's something that I have worked on forgiving myself for, and I don't have regrets about it, but it still weakens me sometimes. It still saddens me sometimes, and knowing that, you know, I'm 30, I'm single, I want to have kids in two to three years, but there's no prospect of, like, having a person to have a child with, I'm fully, I'm, I'm fully committed to the idea of being a single mom by choice, like, you know, going through the process of freezing my eggs and doing what I have to do in order to, you know, bring a child into this world. And if that's not something that I can do, and like I said, like, the last doctor's appointment I had, my doctor was basically flabbergasted by what was going on. So I have to go through a whole nother procedure to see what's really going on internally. Just thinking about all of that, it just made me sad. And I just wanted nothing more than to be in someone's arms and have them tell me it was going to be okay. But knowing the climate that we're in and knowing that, you know, I'm hella single, like hella, hella single, like don't have no hoes. I, I barely talk to anybody. It, it's like, there's no real, it's no real prospects or whatever. So like knowing that I, I had no one and wanting so desperately to have, like to be at the very least on the phone, venting and talking to just anyone at that moment not just anyone just like somebody who was like in tune with what I was going through like when I when I came to my mom's house this morning she was like you know why do you feel like you can't talk to me or your sister and then my nephew was like you know you could always talk to me and I was just like I, I know that I can well maybe not to my nephew it's, it's a little different dealing with him but like I know that I can talk to you and my sister but you guys to an extent don't really get what I'm going through and it's something that I've been going through since I was 20 this has been 10 years you know like you guys can't really understand because you have kids my nephew can't understand because my nephew is out there so I was tell talking to my sister about it and she was like you know you could talk to a cousin of ours because she went through the same thing and it never crossed my mind to talk to her because she now has kids but in in a way it's like what we what I'm going through and what she's been through it like and kind of meshes, so she may be an outlet that I need to use. But last night in that moment, I didn't feel like I had anybody. And it, I didn't mean to come off like I'm about to off myself because I'm not. Like, I am all about, like, all about life and living in love and happiness and joy. But I just wanted to be held. That's, that's what that was. That's what I was trying to communicate. So I just, you know, in case you guys cared. Still, I get on here and, you know, straighten that out. In any case, guys, be happy, be merry.